You can grow a small trading account into a large trading account, and I'm going to show you how. All information in this video is for educational purposes only. It's not an offer or recommendation to trade future stocks, options, or Forex. Initial thoughts. In order to get a small account, we'll say um, maybe under $5,000 with a trading account, there's a couple things that you're going to have to do, and we're going to go through those from a pretty high level here. First off, you have to understand risk and reward. You have to understand the products that you're trading and the leverage that is in each product, whether that be futures, options, uh, CFDs, and stocks. Stocks is going to be much harder um, to grow from small to big, not harder, but it'll just take longer uh, because these are all levered products. One thing that's also important is to have the growth uh, with your process more so than profit because your profit, even if it starts smaller, will scale. Therefore, your process is the most important thing. That includes using multiple time frames, understanding the technicals for entries and exits, uh, and journaling. So, risk and reward, key concepts. What even is risk and reward? It really has to do with your entry, which again, going back to this, is gonna have your entry is really gonna come from technicals, but your risk is gonna be based off of that entry spot, and then your target, how far are you gonna go, your stop loss, when are you wrong? Uh, your stop loss could be a trailing stop. We're going to have an example coming up, but you could have a trailing stop, you could have a hard stop, or you're just going to move a stop to break even. There's a, multiple ways you can go about this. And then even more importantly, well, probably just as important is the percent of your account that you're going to risk. If you have a, just for math's sake, a $100 account, um, and you want to risk 1%, you can only lose $1. If you don't do that, your likelihood of blowing up goes up by a lot. Um, so this is also super important to be aware of. Here is an example of the risk to reward. In NinjaTrader, it's just a simple risk reward drawing tool, but in this setup, you know, this is not even a perfect setup. This is just for context. But here's the initial balance. I have other videos. I love this thing to enter trades. And we got a retest. If you get short here and you wanted to stop right above this VWAP, another indicator that I love, you can put the stop here. And your risk, uh, so your risk is here. That's going to be a one. And then the reward comes all the way down to here. It's three. So a three to one um, risk to reward. It's super important. You want your one to be that 1% of an account. So again, if it's $100 in your account, you're risking, you want that to equal $1. And all the way down here will be $3. So you want to, when you're correct, win more than when you're wrong. Back to this, the trailing stop and hard stop. Some ideas once you're in this trade. Say, so this would be a hard stop. If we just say, hey, it's going to be here and we're not going to go, um, we're not going to move this at all. Now, a trailing stop, you can manually do. There's ways you can systematically do it. But let's say that this price came all the way down and broke these lows. So now you're down here. You could get this stop and move it to here. You could move it to break even or maybe right above it. Um, and so that keeps contracting the risk that you have on the table as you get closer to the profit. So back to, let's just go here, process over profit. One thing with a small account, it's super doable, um, but you do need to have a process. And what exactly is the process? You need to have a setup and that's indicators and ideas like this initial balance you could say it's an indicator but it's more so of an idea of a trade entry 
but like an indicator would be an RSI or MACD. There's a million indicators out there. And it's just important to have an indicator and ideally something that would give you an idea for trade location. I like to use the VWAP and initial balance for that, and often market profile. Uh, and multi time frame. So, this one is super important to increase your win rate. It's going to make you trade less, but it'll also give you a higher win rate. If you start out, um, kind of zoomed out, so this is a one day, you want to look at a one day and determine hey, is the trend up or down? Or are we chopping? Then you get into the four hour. Does it agree here? One hour. Does it agree here? And then the five minute, once you have all these, say they're all up, because they're typically more up than they are down. All those agree your five minute, you're going to wait for the a good setup. And this, maybe you get inside here and want to long there, because if the one day, four hour and one hour is all long, I'm not necessarily looking to take this short. I'm going to wait until there's a long setup. Maybe down here you could look for a double bottom and a bullish candle long. It all depends on the market context. So that is what I mean by process over profit. The process is so important to consistently grow a small account into a large account. And lastly, uh, keeping a journal. So when you have these trades, if this is right, if this is wrong, you need a journal. Why did I take this trade? How was I feeling during this trade? You need to start getting that data. There's online journals. I have a, also another video that talks about journals and how to keep one. Um, and this is more so of how to start small and continue gr growth. And so to get more detail, go, you know, go to the other video. I'm not here to tell you everything about a journal here. This is more so how to start small and the things you have to do. Um, which back to here, you got to know, you got to understand risk, you got to understand what you're trading and the leverage to start small and to grow it, you're probably going to need leverage, which is going to make you be more selective on your entries. Uh, and then understanding the process over profit, multiple time frames, starting highs and going low, and understanding technicals for entries and exits, indicators and ideas again, and journaling. So these are the three main things to grow a small account into a larger account.